Hi fellow artists, my name is Lauren, I am the artist behind Potato Art Studios, and in today's video I'll be doing a quick unboxing of my pastel order from Dick Blick. So if you're interested in seeing how my pastel set arrived, just keep on watching. So if you're interested in seeing more unboxing videos like this, I will actually leave a playlist linked up here and also down below in the description box if you'd like to see more of my past art supply orders. This video will be featuring Dick Blick and I will leave a link to their website as well. So in this box it only contains one item which is a set of Sennelier pastels and as you can see, it says fragile. Soft pastels are quite fragile and they can break or shatter in the mail. So I thought it'd be helpful to show you how Blick packaged my pastel order. So first things first, I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the outside of the box um, just to show you how my box arrived. And right now it's currently sealed. All I've done is remove the shipping label and blocked out my address. So this box was delivered via FedEx with their smart post which is the Blix free shipping method and this is the front flipping it over and this is the bottom So everything looks really good. I'm going to get a knife, cut open the box, and we'll show you what's inside. Right. So the first thing I see when I open up the box is just a lot of these air packing void fill bags. And that's great because you want to see all the space filled so that your pastel box isn't going to be moving around in a box that's too large for it. We're going to take this out and you can always recycle these or reuse them so um, it's not a waste. Um, I, I'll always reuse these void fill pouches. This is my pastel set. So I thought it'd be helpful to have my cutting mat on the ground here so you can see how big this box is and my cutting mat is in inches. Um, so this box is quite large. If you've never ordered a pastel set from Sennelier before, they have a thin cardboard box on the outside that has all of this information and inside there is a sturdier cardboard and foam inserts. So. The box just has a lot of information about Sennelier's history, some of their other products that they make. This is Soft Pastels, it's a landscape set. And the most important part of this outside packaging, um, which is why I recommend you keep it until you make a color chart or write down the colors. So these colors are usually placed in the order they're listed on the side here, so you can kind of follow along. So if you'd like to know the exact color name of what you're using, you can just basically match the list on the side here to what's in the box. The one downside about Sennelier that I wish they would fix is for them to put their light fastness rating on their box. Unfortunately, they do not have that, so you'll have to go on their website and then download a PDF, and then you'll have to cross match each individual number to their color chart, and then that will tell you the light fastness rating. So that's the one slight downside to ordering pastels from Sennelier is that it's a little bit tricky to 
find the light fast ratings. So I'm going to remove the plastic and show you the soft pastels. So I unwrap the cellophane shrink wrap and I'm going to take off the cover. So actually this packaging, because the set is larger, it's actually made out of a pretty sturdy cardboard lid and base. Whenever you order from Sinelli, they have a little handout for you and a sample of their pastel card. So if you'd like to try out their line of pastel paper, you can. And let's open up the top layer, which is a protective black foam layer and see what our pastels look like. So my lights are are a little bit bright, so we're going to see if I can dim the lights a little bit and show you the colors. Okay, so I turned off half of the lights I normally use to film, and it looks like the colors are a little bit more true to what they actually look like in real life. So let's take a look. So the top row is bright yellows, followed by some blues, reds, greens, more blues, getting into some browns, really bright teals, and a nice row of neutrals at the bottom. So there is some powder, you can see there's kind of like a halo of powder around some of these pastels, but that's not a big deal. It looks like all of the pastels arrived intact, and that's great. So Sinelli's packaging is pretty good, so there's a lot of cushion from this really firm black foam and the layer of foam that covers this entire set. And the box is fairly sturdy as well. So it does, they do provide, I think, sufficient packaging. And as long as your pastel set isn't being handled roughly, your pastels should arrive intact. And even if it breaks into two or three pieces, it's still completely usable. So I'm going to show you my very first set of pastels I purchased from Sinelli and that is their Plain Air Seaside set and this is a 30 half stick set and this was my first experience with uh, higher end soft pastels and this set right here is what I had been using for basically the past year and you'll see that the white broke into two pieces but I've been using a lot of these colors fairly regularly and I was really happy with this set so I actually bought a second set of half stick pastels and that was the portrait set that I'll have on the screen here but between those two sets I was lacking a lot of greens and I was looking into potentially starting to explore landscape scenes so that's why I decided to purchase this 80 half stick landscape set and if you're curious about the price breakdown and cost breakdown I will actually have that on the screen so you can see how much it costs per stick versus buying each full stick open stock and listing some popular art supply online stores so you can compare the prices across of the most common art supply ordering websites that I know of. If you missed my video that I had posted about how to save even more money when you're ordering art supplies from either Dick Blick or Jerry's Artorama, I will link down below in the description box. But basically, Dick Blick had a really great deal where they had a $10 e-gift card if you had a minimum order purchase. So if you ever see that offer, 
for a basically a cash back card for making your purchase, I would definitely say take advantage of that offer if you can. Um, I had been eyeing this set for about six months, so when I finally saw the e-gift card deal, I purchased it and I'll be getting an email with the e-gift card in the next couple weeks from Blick. To give you a timeline of my order, on May 5th, which was a Tuesday, I placed my order online at dickblick.com. Two days later, on May 9th, my order shipped and I received an email from Blick with the tracking number for FedEx. And I did opt for the free standard shipping, so I did not pay for expedited shipping. Exactly one week later from when the parcel was shipped from their warehouse, I received my package on May 16th. So that was a total of nine days from when I placed my order to when my order was received at my home. And Blick normally ships their items from Illinois and I live in California. I think it's pretty standard that their orders are delivered and fulfilled within about one to two weeks. If you live further or closer from Illinois, your order may be received a little bit longer or shorter depending on the distance and also how busy Blick is. 90s is pretty good for standard free shipping. If you have any questions for me about um, pastel ordering or Blick, leave them, leave your comments down below and I would be happy to answer them. Again, I'll leave links to all of the videos I had mentioned earlier down below as well. If you'd like to see me actually use some of the Sennelier pastels in action, I actually use the soft pastels in 99% of my pastel drawings and I use them for the background and the first base layer of all of my pastel animal portraits. So if you'd like to see these pastels in action, you can check out my pastel animal time lapses and I will link that time lapse playlist also down below. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video.